Todd are certainly Canadian farmers and food producers are no stranger to drought. Off seasons happen all the time. There was one last year, in fact, right? And this year it seems to be Europe's turn. Um, some incredible images coming out of a very dry Europe this year. Yeah, it really is quite quite something. You know, we, we've got uh, in, in France, they're talking about the driest year on record. It's got to the point where some of the waterways in France that are important for uh, for movement of goods, they, for, for barge traffic, have become so dry that you can't actually use them anymore. Uh, you know, the, this drought across uh, Europe is impacting uh, all sorts of agriculture production. It's in, in, impacting wine production. It's impacting uh, dairy, milk, cheese, crop production, vegetable production, and, and it, it really is something that that is is um, you know this is an extreme situation this year, but we're we're seeing these drought situations happen more often, and so it's important to understand that um, you know we need to find ways to build more resilient systems. We need to find ways to better drought-proof agriculture because uh, often it's getting drier or it's getting more extreme uh, every year. And some of Europe's uh, traditional sources of food, Ukraine, for instance, are, are not producing what they are in normal years. So um, how dire is this situation? Well, again, we have to, we have to wait and see what happens over the next uh, weeks, the next next month. Uh, but it could be quite dire. There's already a lot of pressure on, on livestock farmers and in Europe that imported a lot of corn to feed their livestock. They're seeing that domestic uh, food supply for their livestock disappear. We're seeing uh, them uh, send animals to market. Uh, in order to try and reduce the demand, in order to try and manage this crisis that, that they're in. And it's important, Chris, to remember that this isn't just a European problem, it's quite a severe crisis there. But we're seeing dry conditions in, in California that's that's impacting tomato production. There's this concern about what does it mean for spaghetti sauce? Farmers in China and some parts of China are, are experiencing it, uh, a fairly significant uh, drought uh, too. You know, the, the, the impact on, you know, our food system's been, but under this enormous pressure, it's it's dealt with COVID. It's it's dealing with trade disruptions, and it and it seems like it, you know every year in some major food producing region of the world, it's now dealing with extreme weather that's that's impacting the the food system. And food prices continue to rise. We saw that with recent stats can numbers. Are, are the pressures that you're talking about the droughts in Europe and California and and elsewhere? Are they only going to just push food prices even higher? Well, it's it's uh, we hope we hope not. You know, we, we hope that some of the other pressures that are coming, because again, it's not just drought. Uh, you know, if you look at the, the tomato producers in California that are struggling, they're struggling at the same time with higher input costs. The way farmers all around the world are, fuel, fertilizer, all of these things are, are that much more expensive. But those prices are coming down. Hopefully, some of that helps take some of the pressure off. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully, we inflation starts to slow down, but. But it really is hard to tell. You know, these these droughts that we're living in, that you know, France is in a and it was a record-setting dry condition. They're hard to predict. They're hard to understand what what the long-term impacts are going to be on food prices. But it, it's uh, people should should understand that it certainly does have an impact, and it it could have an impact on on supply and availability. Uh, the good news in a global food system, though, is that we can draw on food from regions that aren't experiencing these same weather conditions. That softens some of the blow, but this, this extreme weather will have will have and continue to have an impact.